After I get it, I reinvest. After I get it, I reinvest. I t- <sighs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy Jason coming at you one more again. Uh, tip today: something I've been doing to like, I don't know, keep my stuff uh, free flowing is black grease. That is what I've been using. So I'm gonna show you where I've been using it. Uh, you're gonna have people who I say, oh, oh dude, you don't put it there, you don't do it, you never know. But I made the stadium truck a main at the 2020 Masters of Dirt. So, anyway, let this begin. Let me show you here real quick. Still got dirt on it from uh, Masters of Dirt, but areas where I add this grease is, you can see right here the little, uh, coupling thing here that goes inside the the uh, shock hoop, hoop or hole or whatever whatever you want to call this here um, the eyelet shock eyelet I add a little bit of black grease in there just to keep it smooth it uh, moving freely and when you put it in the arm it doesn't bind also that is an issue that I've learned here recently is well, I was in the last year is binding. You don't want your shocks up top and down the bottom to be binding. So I add black grease up here too in the uh, the shock collar uh, or shock cap, the hole up here. I add black grease there too. Um, I race indoors, so I'm not really worried about like you know I change this about just about you know every big race. So in between runs, I'll brush this off and brush that off just a little bit like the dirt that's collected. But sometimes I'll just reapply the black grease. And the whole purpose, like I said in the beginning, was to keep your suspension from not being bindy or binding. So that's just a little tip that I do. I don't know about anybody else, but that's what I do because that there is black grease is multi-purpose. So, that was just a little tip, like a little quickie tip that, you know, I use. Um, I could tell a difference personally, like a tremendous difference, tremendous difference personally, because uh, the shock cap, I used to lock it down. Um, the top shock cap, when I had it on the car, I would tighten that nut all the way to where the shock cap didn't move. Like, there was no play in the top. So when I start using the, the black grease up there and, and and letting it, you know, be freely, no bindy or binding or whatever you want to call it, uh, out on the track, I noticed, for me, a huge difference. Um, and I did, you know, just all the way around, like how the car landed and, and the roll and everything was just free. So that's just a little tip. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Like, subscribe, uh, thumbs up, hit the bell icon for notifications. Um, follow me on Instagram, uh, RC Vitals, and Facebook, RC Vitals. Um, but yeah, and hopefully I'll see you at some races here. Come up to me. If you see me at a race, if you see me at a race, come up to me and talk to me. I'm, I'm just like everybody else. Um, <laughs> uh, just average guy. But anyway, uh, See y'all guys soon. Thank you.